Okay, it's been 40 minutes and it smells amazing in here. And so, uh, you know, I think the bread is, is done. Oh yes, you can clearly see. Then just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rise. You see how that slash and the, the crust is just sprung open. So what happens is you get this incredible oven spring, which is what it's referred to when you put the bread in the oven and that yeast gives that final push of CO2. And so the nice slash prevents the, the bread from bursting. So now we just take it out. And we've got two beautiful loaves of almost 100% wheat bread. More like probably 70%, I guess. And now what you need to do is you need to allow these to cool completely, which is going to take anywhere from you know two to three or four hours. Um, you never want to cut into the bread when it's still hot out of the oven because uh, all the starches that are in that dough have gelatinized and they need time to cool down at least below 180, 170 degrees. Um, and, and the dough is actually not properly formed and set until that time. If you were to cut into it now, the dough will get all gummy and, 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 and mushy and uh, you know the structure of the bread and the crumb, which is the inside part of the bread, will be completely wrong. So if you like warm bread, what you need to do is you need to allow it to cool completely and then you reheat it when you're ready to eat it. But uh, until then, now you just gotta, you just gotta wait. So tomorrow morning, uh, I'll just let this sit out overnight and then this bread will be ready to slice and make some sandwiches.